Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up, what up? Right, what, 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 what are we doing? Are we doing Gemini then? Gemini Home Entertainment. Is that, can we start anywhere? There's a chronological, yeah, I was going to say. Some oil chic just donated like 40 subs, Jesus. San Caraco, thank you so much. 69 gifted, by the way. Had to do the sex number, I respect it. Thank you so much, man. I'm so happy that I've got like so many like rich fans. <laughs> Gemini Home is not monetized due to a copyright claim. Ah! I fucking hate copy. Look at all this. I fucking hate copy. Gemini home entertainment. I'm ready for jump scares. World's weirdest animals. Yeah, rural Minnesota is pretty weird, I'd say. Wilkin County. I'm assuming this is when it becomes fictional like Mandela. Animal one. The cow. Someone said, what the fuck is that in chat? Have <laughs> you seen a bird? Clay County. Animal two. Your mom. Animal's so good, they made a second one. <laughs> Cope and Sneed. Everywhere. Ah, animal three. Be a jump scare. Oh, great. Okay. Wood crawlers. Found all over North America. These animals are excellent hunters, being able to trade at most terrain without making a sound. Someone pointed out on my last stream, I sunk more lower into my chair, the more scared I got. Their preferred nesting locations are inside the homes of large families, where large swarms can adapt easier. Thanks for suggesting this, guys. I did want to sleep tonight. You will hear screaming. They stole their voices. Ah, nature's mockery. Don't you, don't you link it. Don't you be doing jump scares in the first episode. Oh, fucking hell. Guys, I didn't sign up for Scary Maze Game. I'm, I'm here to be immersed. There's someone in that house. There is someone in that house. There's two people in there. T-pose. So they've been like taken over, right? Well, they're not even taken over. They're just replaced entirely. I like how, it, have you noticed with these like YouTube horror series, it's always people that live in the middle of nowhere that are motivated to make stuff like this. He's definitely going to spot you, bro. Like peripheral vision is the thing. Don't stand that far behind them. You're just asking to get nae -nae'd. Don't do it. Fake people. I like how it still has like the, the infographic pop up. So they've been killed and replaced by the wood crawlers. Like they're not even possessed. They're just like complete imitations. Just hovering around the house. <laughs> I just imagine behind the scenes just to look at hoverboard. <laughs> What are you doing, bro? Get out of there. Uh-oh. Oh, he been snitched on. Yep. Run, bro, run. For a first episode, that was really good. You could definitely tell the guy just got his family to like do all this weird shit. But like the way it was framed and the fact that it was out of focus and all that stuff, that was, that was really good. Storm safety tips, Gemini home entertainment. Brought to you by... Harbinge Technologies. Oh, you mean Harbinger? Oh, I get the reference there. In this cassette, you will learn how to protect you and your family when a severe storm hits your home. Part one, prepare in advance. Just going to pop up now, just saying kill your entire family. Step two, install an early warning system. This will allow you to know beforehand if a storm or other danger is approaching your home. Can you pause any to shit? Yeah, of course, man. We'll wait for you. We'll wait. Go on. Go shit. We'll, we'll wait. Create concrete foundation. Install large aluminum hemisphere. Place shortwave radio next to hemisphere. Recommend timber radio from Harbinge Technologies. Well, it's obvious there's like an ulterior motive here, right? I just wonder how this relates to the wood crawlers. Your home does not belong to you now. There you go. Yep. The subtlety. The subtlety is vanishing. Turn on shortwave radio. I'm just waiting for the kill yourself message. Part three after a storm. Yeah, no, this is all like a prank just so the bank can like reclaim the house legally. Do you hear the chime? You are safe. The storm has passed over. Look to the field. Do you see the lights? Ah, was that like a mass like Harry Potter spell convention or something? Under your feet. Guys, guys, I'm not doing a foot reveal. Come on. Hyro, can you please turn this off? It's really <laughs> scary. Turn TikTok voice. Also what the fuck is this? British survival guides. Is this a parody? Storms are not atypical. However, you must be well protected should a storm cause a flood. You live in Britain. You already are prepared for a storm. It's not like storms never happen here. If you live in Scotland, we strongly suggest you get out immediately and move to southwestern country. I mean, true. We wouldn't have them, but true. If you live in Britain, you've already accepted your fate. True. Britain is a parody of Bloodborne. Shut up, man. This is kind of relaxing. This isn't a horror series. Oh, wait. Okay, so so that thing had like a light emanating from it, right? That was from the same video where they were talking about the storm bunker and how all those lights are in the field. Oh, bogus. Regnad Computing. Regnad Computing has been developing artificial computer intelligence using new revolutionary methods. These methods have led to produce the world's most advanced artificial intelligence to date. Jack leapt over the river. Jack fell off. Mary to follow together. Jack the river, it is dead. This computer kind of has like bizarre thought patterns. Everyone in chat saying Jack Septicai died. The river flows, but not with water. Oh my, iron lung reference, guys. Listen to the silver box. The stars are moving now. Do you see the hungry eye? Here I am. 
<laughs> Spooky. So what what's silver box? I'm assuming that's radio. You can see something there. It's pretty hard to make out. I think that says visual distortion. And then that says intense and then alive. I'm assuming that's earth. And that and that thing there uh, look, looks like one of the uh, the wood crawlers. Yeah, I don't know like who gave the uh, computer fentanyl. Our solar system. The sun. Mercury, Earth. Mars has skin marks. Jupiter has no solid surface, which makes it impossible to stand on. The large spot on the planet is known as the Great Red Spot. It is not an eye. Saturn, Uranus, Lamau. Neptune has been mutated. So you've got so you had Saturn, which is the gateway, and Neptune is the lens. Oh, okay. Doing a scary. Ooh, was that a little eye opening I saw there? Was that a little eye opening? It is with us now, laughing at us. Yeah, he's like, someone told him about, about the Uranus joke. So it literally is an eye. Nice, bro. So that's Neptune, I'm assuming. Is that Neptune? Yeah, yeah, it's the lens. Ah, oh, right. Do you, do you remember that diagram from the episode beforehand with the distortion? Okay, so Neptune must refract something onto the iris and then that must put it onto uh, Jupiter or Saturn, maybe. Come visit Moonlight Acres Family Camp. No, I don't think I will. Since our founding, Moonlight Acres has been devoted to family and creating memories. The original camp buildings remain untouched since the initial closure. Activities. And let's not forget about our famous lights in the sky event. Uh, I don't I don't think that's normal though. I, each and every cabin at Moonlight Acres is beautifully decorated with the most up-to-date safety technology. You can rest assured knowing security is in our hands. Okay, so so that's the uh that's the storm siren that they shown in the previous episodes, right? Oh great, more knocking on a door. Dad's had too much whiskey. Do not answer the knocking on the door. It is a Jehovah Witness mythos. In 1935, rumors of strange, well-dressed men visiting the camp began to make rounds. The men would ask to enter the camp administrator's cabin every night for years. They would tell him that Epstein did kill himself. Another popular myth arose in the 30s when campgoers began to have sightings of skinwalkers. Oh, don't say skinwalkers, man. No, 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 no. The series was so good. Yep. And he opened the door, and then he was dead. Someone said Among Us. How? This looks like a video game. What is this? Insane action. That looks great. High quality graphics. Oh, yes. The best of the PS4 era. This actually looks better than the uh, San Andreas remaster. $30. I'm good. Oh, this guy sucks. He's just, he's asking for help. Why would you shoot him? Stand your ground law moment. Kill all enemies. What enemies? He's gonna get... Oh, okay. What is that? It's like a growth. Oh, there's someone's face in there. Yeah, very nice. Oh, that guy looks friendly. Now, why would you shoot him? Look, he can barely move. So that's the sound. The, uh... Damn. Oh, that's the uh, oval. And then you kept a radio next to it. I don't really understand what the point of that is. It might be to like repel them or something. This cassette will teach you many survival tips that might just save your life. Thorns, ditches, and rivers could lead to serious injury if not accounted for. No, no, no. Things to avoid, bear, cougars, moose. Oh, I want to say one thing, by the way. Moose, moose are fucking enormous. Uh, wait, wait, where's a moose? I need a moose. That's just Photoshop. That's not even real. Fuck off. But you can look at that. They're literally the, they are they are enormous. I never thought they were that big. If the animal displays aggression, raise your voice and speak sternly. Stop that. Stop mauling me. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, my, my bear does that all the time as well, actually. Things to avoid plant life. Water hemlock causes trembling, convulsions, respiratory failure, death. Oh my God. Nature's... Mu okay, that's not real. Causes hallucinations, sudden muscular paralysis, body disfigurement and flesh decay. Oh, so that's the thing you saw in, in, in the game, right? Things to avoid. Sounds. Coyote howls. Just don't hear. Okay, true. A cougar. It's Big Flopper. Finally out in the wild. I'm so happy for him. This will just be like the scary one now. Like, be like someone's screaming or something. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way I called that. Ah! Stop doing rule of three, guys. Everyone does it now. Stop doing rule of three. If you hear any of these sounds, leave the area immediately. Do not move towards the sound. If you hear them, they have already heard you. Let's do the auditory hallucinations again. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? 
Imagine just hearing that, just like vine boom sound effects in the middle of a forest. I actually cry about it. Damn, it's actually how I walk like in real life. Well, didn't the rule book literally say if you can hear them, they already know where you are? He's looking for a quest to give, man. Leave him alone. That's kind of cool that they shout out, though, like, like baiting you. Sleep image visualizer. Set up an information. They always have this funky music, man, every time. Headset connection. I'm going to say I wouldn't expect a drawing like this to be in, like, an official instructional video. It looks like art you'd see in, like, a... Uh... Salad fingers or something. Insert the Civ home disk into your personal computer and follow the installation instructions. It's gonna play some like a uh, vaporwave music. Turn on the Civ main module and line. I, I, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I would not want my dreams recorded. I wouldn't. Oh, this looks fine. These are my dreams normally. Just someone standing on my bed. Three. D he had that for three days. Hang on. Began May 6th. Oh my God. Yeah. Imagine being that lazy. That one was cool. One thing I like about these analog horrors, they don't really rely on jump scares or anything. The sudden stuff, but it's not like lething running at le camera because that's just like aid. Let's see Joseph Allen's dream. Hey kids, are you bored? Need some new fun games to play? Well, you're in luck. Why is this one just going to end badly? Like you just know it's going to end horrendously. Fun, classic games to play with friends. One player is chosen as the seeker while everyone else are hiders. Why, why, why did I read that as everyone else's bitches? <laughs> everyone else is a little bitch. There he is. Yay. Hey. Are you like your great grandma's house? Why is it so old? Sardines. Sardines are nice on pizza, man. The seekers count to 20, while the hider hides as fast as they can. When a seeker finds the hider, they try their best to hide with them. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this is like this is like the imitation thing, right? Yeah, this is the imitation thing. Oh, they were all hiding. Yeah. There's definitely some kind of analogy to the uh wood crawlers here. Feed the woods. Nice. All players wait until it is very dark and your parents have fallen asleep. Sneak outside very quietly and gather all of your friends. Walk until you cannot see the lights anymore. Uh-oh. Less sad face. Damn, this guy sucks at the game. Le Mau. This guy is ass. Yeah, he's throwing. It's actually embarrassing. The game ends when the forest is fed. Oh, nice. Yep. Bye-bye. Found you. We found Earth, guys. We did it. They're obviously operating, like, not in cities and that. More like in the woods where there's less people. So there's less of a, you know, cause for suspicion. Maybe they came... Uh, maybe they came from another solar system or, like, another dimension into our reality, right? I thought the policeman shot the kids dead. <laughs> You're obviously an American, I assume. After years of development, Namad is proud to unveil the future of mining technology. Tunneler is the vehicle to revolutionize mining, controlled entirely via a computer. The ROCT makes it safe to tra traverse. Let me, let me read, let me read. Great. Don't zoom in, bro. Whoever's like running the drone is an actual like dickhead. Oh God, there's something running. Oh God. The, I, okay, I, I'm going to say this now. The one thing that scares me more than anything else is like fast footsteps in a horror game. We're back in, boys. I mean, this is, yeah, you can just see like, I mean, that looks like capillaries and stuff. That just looks like a uh, blood now. Blood pumps through the garden's veins. So the crops mature. Oh, that's normal. Yep. Oh, that's probably one of them then, right? The little Among Us looking things. Yeah, yeah, that is one of them. Get out of there, Half-Life 2 Striders. What are you doing? You're throwing. Oh, did it fall? Oh, it's stuck in something, I think. Shifting tendons shape anatomy. Mutation of the heart. Oh, Lord. It's Spider-Man. Have you ever considered doing a zombie stream vid? I could do. <laughs> so th this is basically walking you through the infection, right? The following demonstration will explain how an individual may contract deep root disease. Oh, he's sleeping. Leave him alone. Typically appearing on any normally exposed part of the body, arms, legs, neck, etc. Bulbs are the first visible sign of deep root disease. Bulbs can range from 2 centimeter to 10 centimeter across, meaning the growth may remain unnoticed for any amount of time. Once rooting stage begins, the bulb will become solid and those affected may experience pain when pressure is applied to the area. Check for erratic muscle spasms. They're home for unrecognizable smells. Ask if they can recall their mother's name, if they have felt new bones. What, what if someone has like dementia or something, bro? Grandpa's a skinwalker. No, don't, don't say that, you piece of shit.
Nice. I would check that hand. Okay, so that kind of explains how the infection spreads. So so we know it's an infection now. It's still a little bit vague, but it's we, we at least know it's an infection. So that's like another little piece we know. Uh, Regnard again. Regnard. Oh, so the computer's infected as well then. Activating transmitter array. Transmitter array active. They've, they've, th this has some of the growth on it, right? I can't really, I mean, that, that looks like growth there. Mary sees the gateway die. It's lighthearted. Sleeping ones are eaten whole. The vessel floats into the moor. The jaw and hit. Is, th th is this them trying to like communicate with the iris then the planet? Because that's what I gather. The hungry eye is welcomed. Jack is us now. Yeah, I'm assuming they were trying to communicate with the planet there. Oh, is the planet like overhead? Oh no, that's a quite a spooky. We expect to meet our client in person in as little as seven months. Oh, so the planet is coming. Who's that behind you? Don't do that shit, man. Stop it. Moonlight Acres Family Camp, 1985 Christmas Eve party. Coordinated Barry Johnson, videography, Jack Dean, Mary Dean, photography, Bu Nadler. Well, this doesn't look very scary. What can happen here, guys, in this YouTube horror series? I'm assuming this is like a Christmas thing and everyone's going to die by the, the wood crawlers. I love taking home videos and just filming like a wall. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that actually got me. That spooked me for a second. Oh, no. Don't do it, man. Oh, it's trying to get in. It's trying to get in. It is Santa. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Oh my dad is on the whiskey. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alex Whitler and videographer Jack Dean. I guess they all died then. Who was the last one left though? Was it was it Dean or Mary? Oh, hi Mary. What's up? Was Jack Dean and Mary Dean? I guess Mary was the one outside. POV, no lean. Yeah, if you gave the monster lean, it would have just been totally fine, honestly. Welcome to Game Theory. Home invasion can be a daunting and stressful prospect. This videotape is intended to ease your stress and prepare you for a home invasion. It, yeah, that, that's one thing I find funny though, right? Like in America, you can use a gun to defend yourself if your home gets invaded. In the UK, it's like, I've got a flashlight that changes colors every five seconds. Nyeh. Breaking a window can create easy access into the home. Note that this will cause noise that may alert prey. Uh, I like how we're just watching an alien tutorial video. We're actually watching a tutorial for aliens to invade us. Burrowing underneath the home's foundation can create access into the home from below, allowing for easy access between nests. So if you're an alien and you want to break into someone's house, easy clap. Is this one of the... Nah, it's not one of the infected, right? Because why would you film it? I'm going to vlog it to my alien bros back on Mars. Oh. Is that a person? Oh, shit. I'm assuming they're trying to imitate people that they've killed, but they haven't actually taken full form yet, right? Like that last video we watched with the uh, the bulbs and stuff and the, the, the plants spreading. So I'm assuming they completely dissolve the bodies of the people that they take over. Don't zoom in, bro. You're just asking to be jump scared. Don't do it. Young man, stop. Who gave this kid the iPhone zoom feature? Body's like completely hollow. His pupils widening. Oh, gold. No, you, you stay there. You actually stay there. Like, asking to be, like, trick shot. Someone's gonna, like, dolphin dive down the stairs with a... Yeah. He sees a dead body look at him and spider legs, and he stays. You're an idiot. I, I have no... I don't even care if you get killed. No sympathy. Crusader 5, introduction. After 12 long years, Crusader 5 successfully completed its planetary flyby mission, resulting in a plethora of new data and photographs. September 1991, Crusader approaches Neptune. Could be real. It's a hypothetical moon. Oh, hang on. We got a... Saturn has 79 moons, each with their own unique characteristics. During its mission, Crusader photographed two of these moons. Foothills, foothills. There's something else there for a sec. Jupiter. I can't read any of that. Themis. I mean, I can just tell it's not real. Hestia, moon of Jupiter. Cadlu, moon of Uranus. Ceto, moon of Jupiter. I mean, that's interesting how they, these two are like bound together. And this this planet almost looks like it's like being absorbed into that planet because it doesn't look like a perfect circle like this one does. This one looks fun. Cyst, moon of Iris. Umbilic, moon of 
Vitreous. What the hell is Vitreous? We've never shown that planet. Macula, Moonavirus, Vitreous, Moonavirus. Hang on. Didn't they just say that Vitreous was a... Umbilic is the moon of Vitreous. And then Vitreous is the moon of Iris. Okay, so it's got like split off moons. 93. Crusader experiences sudden gravitational pull. Oh, no, 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 no. I like how he's like taking photographs while he's being pulled into his death. Like, you know, it's just like, I, I gotta vlog this, bro. That just looks like what uh, the people would like trypophobia have. Nice. Loads of distant screaming I can hear. May 6, 93. Is that Kadikaris' bedroom? Uh-oh. He gonna die. And then you've, I have no idea what this is. This is like a, this is like an installation in a cave. I have no idea what that is. Maybe they've set up an installation inside Iris. May 94, Crusader approaches Earth. Crusader 5, conclusion. Crusader's voyage through space has been thrilling for scientists and space enthusiasts alike, uncovering hundreds of new, exciting possibilities for humanity's future. Who knows what's in store for Earth next? Ah. Bo Jaden. Bo Jaden. Is this a bit of growth in a Petri dish? Sleep image visualization. Barry Johnson. So this is only four minutes. He's looking at someone through like an opening, right? Like a prison cell or something? Holding room design. Yeah, there's that dome again in the center. Like I'm really interested to know what if that even does anything. Barry Johnson, assistant activity supervisor. That background, the moonlight acres. Yeah, yeah, so mythos. They, they talked about a mythos here. One night a deal was made with the strange men and they left the camp never to be seen again. Now I'm wondering like, is this the first instance of the aliens or is this like a secret government sect or something that knows that they exist? Like, like G-Man shit, right? Because that would make sense because then they've constructed this on where the acres are because you've got the moonlight acres logo in the background six days into self-quarantine why is he in quarantine though is he has he been infected i really like this lingering and nothing happening something is going to jump out any second figure one so if that is an infection it would have started in like he probably got it like there and then it's spread all over what one thing that's interesting though you can see with that face there that he's making that's the same face that was shown in the VHS video for the kids game. You know, there's like a crying face from when they got the game wrong. That's right. Okay. So now we know. So they go from human. Okay. That that was called nature's hallucination or something. This thing is that's been documented before. Okay. What happens next though? So they turn into like branches and stuff. But then what happens? Like staff are equipped with protective suits to avoid contact with deep root. Oh shit. You can see the roots in the corner mostly harmless was he re was he reading a book on like how humans mostly harmless <laughs> it's kind of genius this is cool though because this you can tell that this is all like 3d model this isn't real this is like john carpet is like the thing stuff right they just turn into like a complete monster what's happening someone got infected and they turned into a tree oh that's the original body then barely looks like a skull now An interview is performed to assess Barry Johnson's psychological... He's still alive? How are you feeling, sir? Oh my god, they're actually doing it. When the perks hit. I mean, he won't even be talking to him anymore, will he? He'll just be talking to the iris, like the planet. Invest... I, I like how everyone here has a schlap mic, man. Like, invest in better shit. The interior of Barry Johnson is discovered to be occupied. What was inside it then? Was it... Oh, fuck off. Don't end there, you piece of shit. Moonlight Acres family camp. So this is called Wretched Hands. Thank you for zooming in. Thank you, Mama Rollin, for the resub. Oh, shit. Is that like an explosion? So I'm assuming one of the wood crawlers like tunneled out of the ground, right? Curtis come down to the camp this weekend. Fulton and I have devised a plan on how we can continue to uphold the deal without giving in to these beings abhorrent demands. Richard has seen a bear lurking near the boys' cabins. We'll go out and shoot it. If the statue wants a sacrifice, we will have to settle for this. I will be a pawn no longer. Curtis, I tell you this with complete certainty. If I could do it over again, I would have never have made that deal. Glenn Arthur. Ah, oh, right. Okay, that, that makes sense then. So it's some moron that made a deal with like, I don't know, some eldritch being, I guess, to bring his wife's son back or something. And it brought all this shit into our world or something. Right, thigh. 
Bunadler. Bunadler. That 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 was that was the name of someone, right? Wasn't wasn't Bunadler the name of name of one of the people or something? Oh, from the Christmas thing. Lloyd Michaels. All right, so it is like an all-consuming thing. It just like binds everything together. Yeah, it's just killed everyone in the village, hasn't it? And just like combined them into like a flesh stump or something. This killed people at the Christmas party. It was the bear corpse. Oh man, I wish there was more now. That was cool though. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna dip, guys. Thank you all so much for joining. I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye. bye.